Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now today with a game called Star Control Origins. One of the sequels that's going to be released one day soon for the Star Control franchise. This is the one made by Stardock. Stardock, if you don't know, is a company that makes both games and software. They uh, they make the object desktop uh, suite of software for Windows, you know, the things like Windows blinds and stuff. They recently actually have a software called Groupy, I think. Um, it's uh, it allows you to group windows in windows together you know like like the thing i said in the top seven annoying things about windows 10 that windows should have by default yeah th they they made it so it's not even by default but at least it exists also they made the games like galactic civilization and uh, the, ele the elemental uh, war of magic series if you don't remember that one it uh, started out kind of rough but got better as time went on also, they're not strangers to the uh, whole uh, sci-fi combat thing with... Uh, they did publish uh, Sins of Thor Empire and again, Galactic Civilizations. Um, they also did one very important thing. Um, if you played by any chance uh, Fallen Enchantress, which was a sequel to Elemental War of Magic, you may have noticed that there was a spell in that game called Shadow World. Uh, I made that spell. Uh, they had a contest uh, around 2010 or 2011 where they uh, took suggestions from the people about what spells to put in the game, and uh, mine won. Not only was my spell in the game, but I also got a video card from that contest, a, a Radeon HD 5850. It, it's a good card, it is sort of saved my bacon because my old card died. So yeah, I, I'm sort of indebted to Stardock. I'm not shilling for them, but yeah, they, they're, 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 they've been very nice people to me over the years. So. What is this game now that I've blabbered for about two minutes for no uh, particular reason? This game is um, is not a story sequel to Star Control 2. It's sort of what Star Control 3 was. It takes things in its own direction. It, it is basically in the Star Control multiverse. It, it is its own universe, but it is in the same vein, the same style of game. And this is the beta of it. I mean, the beta of the fleet battles mode because the other stuff isn't in it yet. Well, you do have the crafting. I'm going to get to it soon. In terms of options, you've got full detail and uh, full screen window and controls. Uh, one very important aspect of this game is that it is also playable in uh, two-player local. So you can play it with two people on the same PC with keyboards, with controllers, with mice, whatever you want to. And uh, it'll work. And also... It's, it doesn't have a, a fixed uh, release date yet. It's going to be out sometime next year. Uh, this uh, They launched this beta now because we've just had 25 years of uh, Star Control uh, from the release of Star Control 2, which is a very important anniversary. So let's get into the crafting aspect of the game first, where you build your ships. This is the the ship I built myself uh, yesterday. It's... Uh, Got to be honest... It may look nice, but honestly, for the most part, I have no idea which way this thing actually flies. You may think, okay, there appears to be a thruster behind it, but I think it actually flies on, on its side. I I did not build all that well that well. It did other designs to take inspiration from, like this one. So mine would fly basically in this direction, I'm guessing. If that's uh, how they're ordered. Or maybe not, who knows. You can build your own ship. So let's so let's begin by building our own ship again and hopefully get this time get this time get it right. Much like in the um the ship constructor of uh, Galactic Solation 3, you have a bunch of pretty fine parts you can string together and create whatever kind of thing you want to. This would be uh, a wing, I believe. Let's start with something that could act as a as a core for our ship. If you're familiar with Kerbal Space Program, you're probably going to like this kind of uh, component. This is something that the original uh, Star Control did not have. You didn't, you couldn't build your own ship. You had a ship, a uh, very... Well, it was it was basically a space truck. You found a space truck belonging to an ancient civilization that... Well, even their space trucks were so advanced that they... They basically made everything else seem really crappy by comparison. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's put this here. Yeah, let's make it look threatening. the uh, The way these things are actually made up, made the uh, options for scaling and such, they do remind me a bit of uh, Elemental War of Magic, which also had the uh, options like these. I think you could actually edit um, the units. 
back then. A skill of the unit or something. It's been a while since I played it. The original version of Elemental World of Magic was kind of not all that great. I'm probably one of the only people in uh, in Eastern Europe that has a collector's edition of it. Uh, the thing is, I can I don't think I can actually use the game as it was in the original version because it relied on imports for DRM, and Impulse isn't around anymore. And I kind of got bought out by uh, GameStop and closed down. But the original version of uh, Elemental had some very interesting quirks to it, like you could marry off your daughter to a dragon, and she would she and the dragon would have dragon babies, and uh, they would be absolutely monstrous. I mean, you'd have dragons riding around on uh, horses. Let's see, rotate this by Z. And they were funny as hell. Yeah, this looks weird enough. Gonna put some more stuff on it. No, actually, should I put more stuff on it? Because, the as you're gonna see in the combat mode, combat is kind of based on uh, physics. On uh, location, on, uh, on actual aiming, so... A smaller ship may have better chances of actually not being instantly murderized. Let's give it some color. That's a lot of solid color there. Let's give it a less solid color. Uh, let's make it blue. A painting mode would be nice, so you could paint stuff. Well, actually, you, could, you can paint things individually like this. Or appears that you can't. Ah, so you can't paint things individually. Hmm. No, you can't, sadly. Yeah, you should have the option to paint uh, your ship individually with each component uh, being characterized by a different kind of color. Let's leave it at, uh, yeah, this dark, dark grayish color. What are we gonna put? Nah, no, this is too weird. I also seen, I've also seen organic uh, ships. Not sure if you can build those, but I have seen them in the game uh, used. Let's clamp something. No, that's too small. Yeah, it's another cock. We don't need our one, one, another one. The swing thing, too small. Hmm. This would look nice as a sort of bridge extender. I'm gonna put multiples of it, maybe. Okay, so multiples of it don't actually stack. But if I put one more under it, yeah, this sort of looks uh, intriguing. I'm gonna have to... Whatever I'm gonna put next to it has to be on top. So let's make sort of an extension bridge from another race. Where is that? Uh, actually, maybe I could just leave it at that. So let's let's go to parts. Well, I mean, let's go to mounts. Mounts is where you add your weapons and your things, you know. Engine. Okay. Um, uh, I should, should No, I, I can't leave these here because I need something on the back that actually mounts the engines. Yeah, engine there. You only have one engine. Module mount. Okay, our module for our special thing is going to be on top. Primary and secondary weapons, of course, are going to be up front. Primary weapon, secondary weapon. And thrusters. They're going to be here. Okay, so gonna... the thruster isn't centralized. I wonder if that's going to... I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to delete it from here. Maybe... Not exactly sure what the difference is between engine and thruster. I mean, it's where the thrust... Oh, I think the engine is... Yeah, I think the engine is actually in the wrong direction. Let's rotate it by... No. Yeah, sort of. Is it the right way around now? I, I hope it is. Yeah, I think this, this is why my old uh, thing... My old... Um, uh, ship didn't go in the right direction because it, it had this problem. It, it wasn't centralized. Okay, so let's turn this around as well. Rotate by Y. Yeah, that should do it. Hopefully this means it will actually go in the right direction. Let's save design. Let's call it... Hmm. Rust? No, not rust. Dead meat, yes. Dead meat too. The first one died. Okay, we can actually we can actually upload this to um, to what you want to call it to Steam. A ship that will probably blow up. And let's give it to everybody. Well, also I actually oh yeah I didn't I haven't outfitted yet. You can outfit your ships with uh, different kinds of uh, thrusters and engines. 
and these will uh, affect its performance. So let's, okay, did it upload? Yes, I think it, yeah, it, it uploaded. If you want to use the ship, you can find it right now on Steam if you have the game. The game is 30 bucks, by the way. Uh, you do get access, I think you get access to the OTT beta test if you have bought it. This is from the private beta build they launched, like before it's officially launched. Okay, so the engines are type 4. Uh, this is a this is a 19. Every ship, by the way, has a okay. So you can do, you can set the size. Let's set it to medium. And engine type three, so it'll be a, a smaller ship, so it won't be gigantic. So I can still uh, field other kinds of uh, ships um, in this uh, battle. Okay, type three engine. Okay, and now we have our primary and secondary weapons. There are a lot of them. Some of them may be too big, like big long-range laser. That's too big for, for a medium ship. But we can have all sorts of other weapons. For example, we can have, well, we could have, if we had the bigger ship, we could have Summon Jeff. I know some ships that have Summon Jeff as a weapon, and I'm going to show Summon Jeff to you. We have Droneries, Speed Burst. Speed Burst is actually not a weapon. It's, it's a utility. You can just go faster. Paperwork. <laughs> it's actually a lot more violent than it sounds. The motivator, laser ribbon, scout shot, infection, nuclear missile. You have a lot of these powers. Gravity wave. Let's equip a... See, the, yeah, I think the mounts were a bit screwy. Yeah, the mounts were, were mounted screwy to the uh, the weapon, so these may actually not fire correctly. Okay, let's let's go to the secondary weapon and pick... Uh, we can pick self-destruct. You may wonder, why would you do that? Why would you kill your own ship? Well, it's important. It's an important thing. Let's put the Razor Ribbon Bola and save it. And now let's go to actual combat in the fleet mode. If you're not, if you're not familiar with uh, what fleet mode is, well, it's um, it's the super melee mode that every Star Control game had. You can play it in single player, which is what I will do, and not, uh, or also you can play it in ranked and unranked uh, multiplayer matches. I haven't actually played online yet, so I'm not exactly sure how well it goes. I've mostly been focusing on single player because I can actually find a match in online when I first started out. So let's go to single player. You can pick our fleet. For example, this is the uh, the Pithy ship. Pinthy. This is organic. Like this thing moves. I'm not sure if you're gonna if you can actually build this with the, what options you have in game. But if you can, it's a, it's a nifty ship to have. I'm gonna see if I can add. Uh, can I add one of my other ships? Yes. I, no. These are uh, not sufficient fleet points. I made my ship still too expensive. Okay. So I'm gonna remove this one because it looks kind of big. See if I can add. Yes, now I can add my. I'm gonna get there one too. I'm gonna remove one of the standard ones. I have to, no, th this one actually good. Remove this one. And see if I still cannot add my old one. Okay, that should do it. I'm fighting against an opponent that has this fleet, so it should be kind of equal. I have po five points remaining. I don't have any ships that actually cost five points. Okay, let's let's. <laughs> Expert cyborg, crazy cyborg. L l let's start with a fully cyborg and my absolutely horrible ships. Now, preparing ships. Let's start out with with the organic ship because it's a bit more funky and looks weird. So this may seem familiar to you if you're if you've ever played Star Control. See, you play in this area, but unlike Star Control, it's not cyclical. Like it does have an actual edge. Like if you go here, there's going to be some asteroids. And uh, because of those edges, things will not, um, they won't turn back onto themselves. Like you, you can't go forward and then to a point go backwards because you found the edge of the map and it's all spherical. What it does have is gravity. Like objects in space exert gravity. And I do believe there will be multiple um, battlefields. I have seen screenshots with what seem to be black holes. Probably have a lot of gravity. And since everything has gravity, things move, and you yourself move towards the biggest thing with gravity. And when you do hit it, like now you can see here, I lost one crew. When you lose crew, you die. Like it's not based on damage dealt to the ship; it's based on damage dealt to your uh, your crew. And I got killed because I, I <laughs> didn't actually fire anything. That ship could fire a lot of things, but I didn't fire any of them. Okay, so let's um, use my ship. As you can see, uh, it actually goes in the reverse direction I intended it to go that's because I think I, I flipped the engine in this one that's why it doesn't go where it should go this is paperwork 
Like the little things that look a bit like salt shakers or missiles, that's people work. And this is, uh, this is someone, Jeff. You may have heard a little help. Come on, Jeff, Jeff. There's Jeff. Jeff's coming to rescue you. Jeff will kill, will not kill, but will attack the enemy for a couple of seconds and go away. Yeah, this is totally reversed. It should have been the other way around. Come on, stuck in gravity. Stuck in gravity. Like the thruster is reversed. Everything's reversed on the ship. It, it does not look like it should look. And sort of got, okay, this guy has friends. Uh, he has an ability called summon reinforce, yeah, reinforcements and mines. So it doesn't matter if one of them dies, I have to kill them all and they won. Moral of the story, my ships are kind of horrible. Let's see if the last one I made is actually good for anything. Well, it looks nifty at least, and yeah, things are going the direction that they should go. And the uh, gravity wave. Oh yeah, uh, you're seeing this, right? Like That's a gravity wave, like that's an ability I can launch. That really messes with gravity, like a lot, like I'm stuck in a gravity well. And hopefully that'll actually do damage to the... oh god, that's too much gravity. I made a gravity wave and basically my... I made a ripple in gravity. See, it's just affecting it and affecting it and getting stronger and stronger. And when it goes down, it'll push me out. Or it'll do that. Come on. You can absolutely use gravity to your advantage. So it's 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 actually more tactical than it seems at first. Even okay, I uh I gravity those things towards me and they killed me. Okay. Let's see, what does this have? This is a beam carver and also summon Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Jeff? Jeff? Save me, Jeff. I should probably try and actually fight these on my own. Wow, those mines have a bigger radius than I thought they had. Yeah, I think the mines are OP. They need to be nerfed. Okay, this laser ribbon and the speed burst. They can actually help you get through uh, th thick gravity. Oh, I'm losing. Losing. What is actually... Okay, I think the mines are a bit too strong. Like, or is it the mine or is it the gravity? What's killing me exactly? Something is killing me a little bit faster than I thought it would. Okay, that's one. Come on, Jeff. Get him, Jeff. Yes, thank you, Jeff. So, even if you do have reinforcements, uh, if the main ship dies, they will die. That's an important thing to note. Now we're battling a Denken carrier. By the way, the races in this game are not the same as in Star Control 2 because it is its own universe. It's not the Orc 1 universe. It's a different one. Jeff! Save me, Jeff. Jeff. Come on. Jeff takes a lot of energy to summon, but he can do the job. I think. Jeff do the job. So my opponent has quite a lot of crew, and I'm just ping-ponging around here with no hope of actually surviving this, am I? Jeff, come back. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die because I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the gravity well. Like, that ship has, doesn't have strong enough thrusters for uh, repelling that kind of gravity. Well, let's try with it, the last one and then I'm gonna increase the level of difficulty and change to a fleet that's not of my own design, so it probably won't be horrible. Drone release, let's release the drones. I think we both have released drones, don't we? No, he has boarding party and I have released drones. Oh, so that's what was taking away from all my uh, crew. Uh, drone, uh, the boarding parties. The boarding parties, but you can absolutely shoot down uh, missiles and drones and stuff. So that's an important thing to note. Come on. Come on, drone release. I have two, two drones and he was a bit caught in a gravity well. It's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm recovering, I'm recovering. Get back here, you varmint. I'm not doing well on battery life. Okay, we actually blew up the, the center asteroid thing. Okay, that's that's actually a first for me. Control is something you have to get used to. Like, you are basically playing asteroids, but with... No, I, I think we blew up something else. We are, you're playing asteroids with the gravity. 
so it's uh, it can be a bit uh, tricky to get used to at first, especially when you have to consider that you're ah oh, damn it, you're moving in several directions at once. Let's load up the uh, no, not my fleet. The scroll of this one. Yeah, so let's load up that fleet. And I'm gonna make you uh oh, I can't make him fight with my fleet, can I? Hmm. Let's set him one of my ships. Let's remove that one. Okay. All ships, remove it. And add one of mine. And let's increase the, the difficulty to challenging cyborg. I can actually add one more. Mm, the big one. Which ones do I have? I'm gonna add the biggest one. Not a lot of crew. New, oh, black hole. Black hole is in the house, absolutely. Okay, and you have eight points left. What can you do with eight points? Yeah, I have that one. Okay, this is gonna be more of a fair fight. Let's start with the one that has black holes. Okay, gravity wave. This guy has self destruct. Oh boy. That's a black hole. You can see it doesn't just damage things, but also generates that, that gravity wave. So, oh, it blew up. Actually, when we got close together, that was the same graphical effect as you had with, uh, with some of the, the, um, the ships in the Star Control 2. Was it the spotty one that had the electric uh, stuff in it? I don't remember exactly. Okay, another fighting with my ship. What will you do, little man? Okay, you can actually use... Oh my god! My little ship was amazing! Holy hell! Like, that thing was, was a killer! It just ganked me and murderized me completely! Get away! Okay, <laughs> on the plus side, it dies instantly in one hit. But it is danger. Ah, I just spawned right in that thing, didn't I? Okay, the Energizer Bolts. I think that the Energizer Bolts will actually take away energy from the enemy. That would make sense. Okay, they're, they're, they're angry. They are very angry. Your life, by the way, does not regenerate between battles. So you have to keep in mind to actually try and keep your ship as whole as possible. I'm gonna keep it stationary right now, just chilling in the breeze. Oh, they're back, they're back, they're back, and there's a lot of them. Run, run, run. Oh, I just ran right into them. Right into all those... How many mines do you have, honestly? Too many. Like, mine, mines need a nerf. Those mines need a nerf. Like, with this one, you have the, the motivator, which I'm going to use right now. And it didn't... It did some damage, but... Now, those mines are too OP. Okay, this guy has laser ribbon too, so I'm gonna use it my the best of my advantage and do this. Rotate. Yes! Okay, I died, but I got him too. That's the important bit. Two ships left. Let's pick the one with self-destruct and scout shot. Okay, my ship... Oh, we both have the same ship. I was looking at the other one. I got distracted for a second and thought, well, why am I not controlling this properly? I was looking at the wrong ship. And I... yeah. That was my bad. <laughs> my, my second ability was self-destruct. You may see why such an ability is important, because you can pretty much use it to take out their capital ship and be done with it. Oh, there's cancer mines. And they have... All, the radius is too large. Like, the radius on cancer mines is too big. Let's call in reinforcements. Reinforcements actually calls in the replica of your your own ship, I believe, not uh, not of just the ship that looks like this one. So imagine reinforcements on something like this one, like that big thing. It'll be just out of control. Let's move in for the kill. Come on. I'm in the gravity wave, I think. I did a boo-boo. No, I, I lost. So, okay, I'm gonna outfit a ship. Let's go back and uh, outfit a big ship with the... Uh, uh, let's see, crafting. Yeah, I'm gonna... Do, yeah, okay, I'm gonna unequip the... Uh, I can actually modify this, can I? Ah, edit, copy. Okay, I copied it. 
good. Then a two. I'm gonna edit then a two. Notice that Dennett and Dennett will actually have different uh, icons. Like this is seen from the side and this is just from the top part. Okay, I'm gonna equip... Uh, where was it? Okay, maximum thrusters, maximum engines, secondary weapon, infection, demotivator, scout show, self-destruct. Where was uh, reinforcements? Okay, black hole, but it, no, that's gonna be my primary one. Typhoon, Tachyon, two nuclear missiles are now. Okay, reinforcements and primary is going to be the black hole. And this is going to be nice. Very nice. Imagine three of these with black holes everywhere. Fleet battles. Back to single pair. Okay, remove big long range laser. That would be nice. So removing this one, replacing it with the other one. This costs too much. Okay, I'm going to put in that one. Uh, the little one I'm going to leave, this one uh, removing, uh, this one actually replacing with the other one. Eight points remaining and I'm going to I'm gonna add one more of these because I didn't get to use the last time. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to add the other ship that I made as well just so I can screw with them. Wow, I... I have a lot of ships, don't I? Okay, that, that should do it. I'm gonna have an advantage in terms of ships. Not that I mind. Let's start with the organic one because I never actually showed you what it does. See, it fires these, these mucusy kind of things, the infection, and also the spores, the contagion. Aha, you missed me. Try as much as you want. You'll not be able to hit me, I think. Okay, it did hit me quite a lot. That actually hurt quite a bit. It hurt quite a bit. Look at the way it's moving. That speed burst is quite something, isn't it? And me without a direct fire thing, like everything I attack with is slow, but they at least uh, accumulate over time. It's ah oh, damn it! For second, why isn't why isn't it doing anything? It just waited for me to get in front of it. That's sneaky. Reinforcements, come on, reinforcements, reinforcements, oh no, the reinf- oh, okay, so the reinforcements are not copies of mine, they're just that thing, and that thing, <laughs> that thing has canister mines, so come on, get closer, I dare you, see, ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun, this ship should be banned, like, oh, I'm gonna fight my old creation, it summoned Jeff, Okay, Jeff, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna kill you. Uh, stuck in gravity, well, stuck in gravity, stuck in gravity. Okay, this isn't good, this isn't good. That's my reinforcement. It's a, Okay, so reinforcements don't seem to have friendly fire and I... Uh, I forgot to equip thrusters on this one, didn't I? I can... That can't seem to move anymore. But I was moving earlier, wasn't I? I was moving the last time. Was I? I wasn't able to move now. Now I can only turn. What did I do to the ship? I don't get it. Okay, at least I'm a, I'm a pinpoint laser. Like this one would have been better with something like a laser. Like a long range laser. And by the way, the longer you keep a uh, click press, the, the farther away your attack will go. So, that's something. Aha! Look at it go! Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, come down here. I can actually control exactly when that thing's gonna blow up. Cool! I'm, I'm gonna shoot it at the, uh, the planet, the planetoid. Or at least near it. Okay, not there yet. This isn't good. Oh my... That reinforcement is really persistent. And I don't think the black hole affects the, uh, the bigger gravity well there. And we're gonna shoot it. 
Oh, so maybe this was the screw. No. Okay, that blew up. Uh, the the black holes I saw in the screenshots were bigger than that, so it's not. Uh, they're not <laughs> the ones in this shot. Come on. Come and get it. I know you, ha you have a big long range laser, so you use it. I'm trying to dodge my, my black holes, huh? Well, it's not gonna work for long. Because I also have. Okay, it. See, th that thing has basically zero maneuverability, so it's it, it has to turn turn towards me and then ride the uh, the gravity in the direction that actually gets it to my position. Otherwise, it just dies. But it has uh, actually... Oh, kid, kill me. Okay. It did indeed kill me. Murderize me. Let's pick... Uh, let's pick it the one they have to. Okay, on top. Okay, yeah, I'm the one on top. Yeah, this thing moves. This thing turns like a truck, like a space truck. And we do have flat cannons that will blow up any drones coming near us. Oh boy, that's actually hard to turn. And when you attack it, when you attack it doesn't turn anymore, like it just sticks there. Like if I had just turned a bit earlier. Don't cross the streams! Actually, I want, they could do a magic thing, like if you cross the stream, something bad happens. That would be nice. And then I'm gonna get to fight my, uh, my dead meat ship. And it blew me- yes! I killed it! Yes, it's it's over. It, I won. So this is the, the basic level at which the uh, Star Control uh, Fleet Battles mode is currently on. It'll evolve with time and you will see more videos of this game from me when they add the rest of it, you know, the the core of it, the the space exploration, the story, the the politics. It's gonna be sort of like Star Control 2 was in terms of uh, what you actually do. You Everything is basically wrong, it's terrible and you have to manipulate a bunch of alien races into doing your bidding in order to let you have a chance at fighting against the big evil that's terrorizing the, the galaxy. Sort of like Star Control 2 was, so uh, look, really looking forward to it. Also there will be Star Control 3, like the official Star Control 3 made by Toys for Bob, by the same creators of uh, the, uh, the original Star Control 1 and 2. Looking forward to that one especially. Uh, that's going to be out. Actually, that one was just announced. It, it doesn't even have a screenshot or something. It, it's probably going to be out in 2019, 2020, maybe. This one's going to be out next year, I believe. I think. Hopefully. Well, um, stick around and we'll, you'll see more shorts from us about this game and many others. Till then, have a good day and uh, goodbye.